Does the pineal gland endogenously produce DMT? What do we sort of know about that? Where did that hypothesis even come from? The notion of DMT being made in the pineal, I think, basically originated with me. I published a paper in a you know, very obscure journal, Psychedelic Monographs and Essays, number five, I think in 1991. I also included that speculation in the spirit molecule, which came out in late 2000. And that stimulated the interest of a pineal researcher in Ann Arbor, Michigan. They published a paper in 2013, which demonstrated DMT at rather high concentrations in the fluid surrounding the pineal gland in the living rodent. A few years later, the same group in Ann Arbor published a paper in 2019, what they found was quite high concentrations in the brain. Interestingly enough, DMT concentrations in the visual cortex increased by a factor of five in the dying brain. You know, they couldn't find any in the pineal gland itself. More interesting is the brain makes DMT in quite high levels. With concentrations in the brain being quite so high, that starts to make you think about a DMT neurotransmitter system akin to a serotonin neurotransmitter system, dopamine neurotransmitter system. And you would have to start wondering, well, you know, what might be the function of a DMT? neurotransmitter system. What is it regulating? Then you can go down any number of interesting speculative rabbit holes.